Good morning, rookies. Um, another drug information question today. Uh, we have a patient in um, in the hospital who's admitted on the medical search unit. He has um, squamous cell um, carcinoma of the uh, the buccal mucosa. So he came in and was admitted because he had bleeding um, on the jaw, in the mouth, um, due to the cancer going on in the um, in the mucosal area there. So the doctor team started aminocapric acid um, to control the bleeding. So it's an anti-fibrinolytic agent. It inhibits the breakdown of fibrin into, it, it inhibits the fibrinolysis of fibrin. And when that happens, um, you kind of, preserve the blood uh, blood clot so it pretty much inhibits the the breakdown of, of blood clots so the patient had been on aminocapric acid uh four grams every eight hours or was it every six hours something like that for um four days already um the provider called me and noted that the bleeding had improved but the patient was still bleeding so she had two questions the first question was we need to get the patients to get home. The bleeding has improved, but I need to know if it's, um, what will happen if I stop the aminocapric acid? Can we, is it safe to stop it now? So pretty much after I stop it, how long do I need to wait to know that the patient is not going to bleed anymore? So pretty much after aminocapric acid is out of this patient's system, um, is the patient still bleeding? So that was the first question. And then the second question was, if the patient continues to bleed after we stop the aminocapric acid, can I restart the aminocapric acid along with vitamin K to have kind of like that synergistic effect because vitamin K is a pro-clotting agent and amino acid um, it's kind of also a pro-clotting agent in terms of it prevents the breakdown of clot. So if you have something preventing the breakdown of clot and something promoting clot, then you're really having that synergistic effect to, um, to stop the bleeding. So I'm going to flip my screen and kind of show you my, um, my thought process. So I'm in Lexicomp as always. I'm going to type in aminocapric acid um, because what's going through my mind now is kind of a uh, PK, uh, PD question, right? So if this patient is, amino, is on aminocapric acid to stop the bleeding and the doctor wants to test it by, to test its effect by stopping it and see if the drug is working, I'm thinking, okay, so the doctor is probably saying, I want to stop it, wait for the drug to be completely out of the system to see if uh, the patient continues to bleed. And right off the bat, I'm thinking about the half-life. Remember in pharmacy school, they said it takes about three to five half-lives for a drug to be completely eliminated from the body, right? So uh, I'm as I'm logging in here, I'm trying to figure out what is the half-life of aminocapric acid. So there we go. Aminocapric acid. I'm going to look for the pharmaco pharmacology and pharmacokinetics. The onset of action is 1 to 72 hours. That's a pretty big range. Um, but the half-life is one to two hours. So let me go with two hours. So what's five half-lives? It's two times five, that's 10 hours. So I'm thinking it's going to take about 10 hours for the doctor to see. Um, it would, after the doctor stops the aminocapric acid, they should probably wait about 10 hours to see if the patient continues to bleed. That kind of sounds like a long time. So I'm going to look at dosing. I don't think the doctor would want to sit around for 10 hours and wait. It just feels long. So under dosing, I'm going to look at what the, uh, the, the frequency is. Um, acute bleeding, 
the patient is bleeding from a chronic condition from the cancer in the mouth so it's not acute bleeding it's not that oxygenation thing it's not an intracranial hemorrhage mouth and mucosal bleeding there we go um the dosing is 50 to 100 milligrams per kilograms every six hours until the wound has healed So if the dosing, I'm thinking if the dosing frequency is every six hours, then 10 hours kind of sounds about right, right? Because you, you know, the frequency of dosing also has to do with uh, the elimination of the drug um, in the body. So every six hours, and that's kind of, I think that's what the patient was on. He was on um, an every uh, six hour uh, dosing regimen. I'm also going to look at thrombocytopenia bleeding because the patient had thrombocytopenia and you see here they can dose up to 12 hours. So I'm I'm going to stick with 10 hours. I don't have the exact answer. I there's no um this is the kind this is the sort of question where you kind of just use your critical thinking to help the doc to help um you know come to an to a conclusion together with the medical team now in terms of can i can the provider use the drug with uh vitamin k so i'm going to just do a drug well before i do the drug interaction check let's go back to pharmacology and look at a mechanism of action so it binds to plasminogen blocking the binding of plasminogen to fibrin and the subsequent conversion of um, to plasmin reduce resulting in inhibition of fibrin degradation so it inhibits fibrinolysis um, and that is not let's look at vitamin k uh, that is not the mechanism of action for vitamin k vitamin k aka <laughs> Phytonodion, mephiton. So when we look at a pharmacology, the the MOA, the mechanism of action, is by pro promoting the synthesis of clotting factors in the liver. And however, the exact mechanism uh, of that st stimulation is unknown. Um, but it promotes, bottom line is, it promotes clotting factors, whereas uh, aminocaparic acid inhibits the, the fibrin fibrinolysis. So the two mechanisms of actions are different, so I don't see why they cannot be used together. But I'm still going to do a drug interaction check. And let's uh, type in here aminocaparic acid and vitamin K. And let's analyze to see if something comes up. Okay, good. No drug interactions were found for the selected profile and filter settings. So there's no drug interaction within the, uh, between the two. So to recap, um, if the doctor is trying to test to see if the patient continues to need, to need aminocaparic acid by stopping it, um, it should be about two, uh, three to five hive lives um, to, for the drug to be completely eliminated from the body. And the half life was one to two hours. So if I go with two hours, um, that would be, if I go with the more conservative um, in, uh, part of the interval, I would go with a two hour half life, go with the five half lives, and that's 10 hours that the provider would like, would need to wait. At least five hours if I go with one. One hour as the half life, five half lives would be, so anywhere between five to 10 hours is the answer I would give the doctor. Um, and yes, you can use it in combination with um, vitamin K as a synergistic effect to further improve the patient's um, bleeding problem. 
but I also noted with the doctor that as we saw in um, lexicon for for bleeding uh, is that you you administer the aminocaparic acid until the uh, cause of bleeding is controlled the source of bleeding the reason for the bleeding but in this patient with buccal carcinoma and poor prognosis um, they were according to the doctor they were considering hospice uh, care um, later on so the source of the bleeding really was not controlled and 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 the chances of getting that source of bleeding controlled were low so by stopping the aminocaparic acid it was very likely that the patient was going to continue to bleed even if the bleeding stopped it might resume later because the underlying um, cause of the bleeding the cancer was still there but i was really excited that the doctor called to get us involved um in the decision making process for this patient uh, i remember when she called she says we don't know the answer to this we can't figure it out so i thought i would turn to the uh, drug expert those were her exact words i'm turning to the expert so the pressure was on but unfortunately i don't have an, an exact answer right but using pharmacokinetics pharmacodynamics uh, mechanism of action of the drug we we're able to kind of um, come up with uh, a logical um, answer. And of course, it's always a multidisciplinary team. Uh, hematology, oncology is on board. So um, I trust that all of this team working together will come up with the best uh, care plan for the patient. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions on how you would have handled this, um, I'm always really excited to hear back. Um, it, it helps me in my practice as well. Next time I get a question like that, I can always follow a suggestion that you bring up to me. So you can message me here by commenting down below or by um, sending me an email. The information is on my website, therookiepharmacist.com. Until the next video, um, have a good rest of your week. God bless you. Bye-bye.